Welcome to today's story, brought to you by Crazy Cock Tuna Company. Today's episode, The Bird That Would Not Fly South. There was once a bird that lived in Canada. One winter, he announced to the other birds, I'm not flying south for the winter. I'm staying right here. All the other birds said he was crazy, but he answered, You're the one that are crazy. You'll get down south, turn around, and fly right back up here again next year. What's the point? The other birds shook their heads, shrugging their shoulders, and took to flight, leaving him behind. Wondering what winter in Canada would be like, the lone bird was pleasantly surprised at the stretch of Indian summer that lingered long into the fall. Ah, he said to himself, I was right to stay. This is wonderful. But then, the winter hit full force in the middle of December. Shuddering in the cold, the silly bird finally realized, I must hurry and leave before I freeze to death. He took to flight and made it as far as Montana. There, in midair, he froze up and tumulted to the ground, landing in a farmer's barnyard. Oh, what a stupid bird I am, he moaned to himself. I should have flown south with all the other birds, but now I am about to die. Just then, a cow in the barnyard strolled past the fallen bird and without realizing it, walked a big cow plop right on top of him. Oh! This is just great, mumbled the buried bird. It's not bad enough that I'm about to die. Now I'm covered with cow manure. But then he noticed something he had not expected. The warmth of the plop actually began to thaw him out and restore him to life. Why? What? Do you know about that? said the bird. This ain't so bad after all. Then he began chirping and singing under the pile of poop. <coughs> Meanwhile, the barnyard cat was passing by and heard the sound of singing coming from the pile. Curiously as a cat can be, he pawed away in the pile and uncovered the thawed bird. Their eyes met. There was a silent moment of suspense. And then the cat ate the bird. The moral of the story is threefold. First, not everyone who dumps on you is your enemy. Second, not everyone who cleans it off you is your friend. Third, when you do get dumped on, it is best to keep your big mouth shut. The moral of the story, when the chips are down, the Lord is up to something good. Take heart and place your trust in Him. You'll be blessed in every way. The end.